Gather around the campfires, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, as I prepare to tell you a tale. A tale of private military contractors, aka mercenaries, but we know them in the state of the K world as Red Talon. But before we get into the video, I would like to say thank you all so much for helping me reach 100 subscribers, a goal I never thought I would get. But not only that, you guys helped me surpass 100 subscribers, and I could not be more thankful for that. Now, if you guys do like the video, make sure to hit that like button as I do have a like goal of 10 likes as always. Comment down below, let me know what you guys think or your own personal theories of Red Talon. And also, hit that subscribe button for more content on the way. Now let's get into the video. Hi, ladies and gentlemen. So let's talk about it. Okay, Red Talon are independent military contractors who are mercenaries that is what mercenaries are that is what red talent is they are mercenaries however no one can really decipher if red talent happens to be good or evil due to the fact that they do have their harsh ways but at the same time they do have things that kind of helps you in a way realize like you know red talent you know they're not all that bad in many ways than one, you know. But, however, they do sometimes have ways of showing that they are no nonsense type of people. And that's what I think who Red Talon is, you know. They are there to help you, but at the same time, they would not tolerate certain things. And they have to stand on being firm they have to be firm firm but yet supportive and in one of the radio conversations you hear about red talent even the people within trumbo valley can't seem to know if they are good or evil just take a listen at this let's get one thing straight red talent is not your friend they aren't interested in saving us only in making themselves more powerful. They can only keep selling order as long as there's chaos. So what it seems like in this clip, it seems like Red Talon is just thriving off of the chaos because it helps them in some way, shape or form. And from what it seems like, you know, when you're just listening to this guy on the radio, he's always telling you things about Red Talon or Red Talon would be trying to say other things but for me I feel like it's so difficult to understand especially when you have somebody like Chavez who's coming in and he's telling you these things about Red Talon and you know and he goes on to even say that Red Talon was very intense so you were in Red Talon, huh? What was that like? It was... intense. A lot of people believing real hard that we were doing the right thing. And most of the time I agreed with them. These days, I ain't so sure. Now, as you guys just heard from Chavez, Red Talon was very intense. And in fact, he did believe that they were doing the right thing. But I guess, you know, with him seeing things and having to take part in some of those things, you know, like he said, he wasn't so sure. And that's understandable. And it does kind of align with what the guy is saying on the radio about Red Talon. You know, they're not here to help you. They're just thriving off of chaos. And they do have other things that was going on, like state of the k1 you know there wasn't a story i know some of you guys may be in the comments saying but there was a story there was a lord absolutely not there was no story there was no lore as the um, game developers 
literally said themselves that State of Decay, they didn't have a story for it. There was nothing going on, which is why you get more of a story during State of Decay 2. Explaining some of the things and yeah, you may go to State of Decay 1 for like a DLC, but as explained, and this was like, I believe months ago, maybe sometime last year where they went on to say that there was no story. But you guys may be wondering where exactly was Red Talon if there was to be a story during this? Well, the game developers even went on themselves to say that what ended up happening in State of the K1 was Red Talon was busy elsewhere doing other things before they even came to Trumbull Valley. And that will explain that. But you also get audio from things about Red Talon over at Crow Lake. Like, just listen to this. Operation Drawbridge may have failed, but Red Talon is continuing plans to fortify our Crow Lake site. We won't let you down. Red Talon's operation at Crow Lake proves one thing for sure. They are working with the government and hiding to safeguard those deemed worthy of rescue. America's a sinking ship. And Red Talon's the only one with a life raft. So what it seems like is that Red Talon does have their own agenda, but what it also sums up is that they are working for the government. To do what exactly? Well, nobody knows. It can be anything. It can even be something considered as population control. We do not necessarily know what Red Talon's agenda is but i mean the same can be said for the network but however if it wasn't for chavez saying that what he said about red talon it would have literally probably could have been like uh it's just something that's mistaken on their part but since chavez was a part of red talon it does kind of open up the you know the floodgates to they may be on the side of evil but at the same time, they may be trying to clean up their image. I mean, when I say that, just listen to this audio right here. Everyone needs hope. I get that. But agitators like the network are not helping the situation. Red Talon is not your enemy. We fight for you. The network cannot offer you security. I mean, as you can see, they're trying to kind of save face over the radio airwaves by even going as far as to say that the network can't offer you security, which again is them trying their hardest, you know, because they're being torn down in such a way that they probably don't want people knowing what their true agenda is but what is their agenda i don't know it could be population control it could just be that red talent just wants to be in charge but then you have this audio that's literally showing how manipulative red talent can be <laughs> i mean just listen to this good news the Red Talon facility at Crow Lake is now secure and operational. Now we just have to repeat that effort in every town, suburb, and city from coast to coast. We'll take our inspiration from all of you out there doing the hard work of rebuilding. We can do this, people. Together, we will take this country back. Now, when you listen to that audio, what it sounds like to me is that they are trying to play face. At the same time, Red Talent is trying to do whatever it takes to build your trust. However, I do believe that there are some people within Red Talent who don't agree with what they're doing. And like I said, Chavez being one of them who was in there thinking that they was going to do the right thing only to see that that wasn't the case. And I do believe that there are members of Red Talent who are like that. And, of course, you know, there are people 
of the military that is still lingering around um, these places and you can recruit these people to your you know your survival group but as far as red talent you cannot but you can call upon red talent or red talent will come by and drop some things off for you but that doesn't mean that they're you know necessarily good it doesn't mean they're necessarily evil because they are supplying you with tools and other things to help you survive but also there is other people who talk about them and it's not just Chavez it's not just the guy on the radio um, there are other people who've had encounters with Red Talon such as the ones over at Camp Erie you know one of the girls there said that they have people working in the mines and if you are to encounter Red Talon you should turn away like when I first heard that I was like wait what is going on but of course if you guys don't believe me check out this recording from Camp Erie along with other folks that Red Talon has kindly resettled. They have hundreds of us here working the mines, shoveling coal. If you're coming this way, turn back. There's no sanctuary here. And if they say they can protect you, just fucking run. Now, in my honest opinion, if Red Talon was as good as they're claiming, you wouldn't have anybody coming out and saying that. You know, you see stuff like this all the time in TV shows and movies when it comes to zombie apocalypse. You all, you always have those who have good intentions and, you know, they don't talk ill of their community. But then you have those who are evil or they show some type of side to them where it's just not good and you know you have people talking about it and you have them trying to help out to try to warn others that hey don't come here don't be here and i feel like that's exactly what she's trying to do to other people and of course when stuff like this gets out of course you know what all people have to do when their name is being tarnished or slandered now they have to come save face and I believe that is exactly what Red Talon had to do. They had to come out safe face to make themselves look good. But in my opinion, after been listening to the audios about what's going on within Red Talon and about Red Talon from Chavez, the network, and of course this girl right here. And of course they am having to go on the airwaves to save face. I don't believe Red Talon is as good as they like to make it seem. I believe Red Talon is chaos and they are trying to be the top dogs. They do want to be able to have control over what's going on. I mean, just listen to the way that Red Talon tries to save face. Like you, I've heard the messages that are supposedly coming out of Camp Erie. As you know, Red Talon gives a lot of freedom to its local partners. Freedom is what we're about. If someone at Camp Erie has overstepped their bounds, we'll deal with that, I promise you. But stirring up contention between survivors is not our way. Ms. Baez wants to fight. I just want to fix things. Did you all get Red Talon's big denial of what's happening here at Camp Erie? Look, that asshole doesn't know the first thing about this place. The mines are fucking real. Trust me. Well, as you guys can clearly hear, they tried to save face by literally going on and blaming. Well, they were trying to say that if a member of Red Talon is doing these things, then they'll deal with it. But that's not what she's saying at all. What she was saying was hey red talon as a whole is doing this and that's why she came back on the airwaves and said what she had to say to clarify that it's no it's not a person it's it's everybody it's red talon as a whole but i don't know 
If you guys to ask me, I feel like Red Talon is definitely shading. Well, not shading, but they are definitely shading. And they are trying to do things that will put them on top and make them, you know, alpha dogs of these areas that we reside in. And of course, I personally feel like they're not good. They're not trying to help us, but they are trying to help in a way where it makes it seem like they are trustworthy but their help is not help their help is to benefit them and to get you on their side and not the side of the network or the remaining soldiers that resign in here but red talon they have the resources to do these things and they do have the resources much like the network to be on top all they need is for us to join them but i don't know guys let me know down in the comment section below if you think red talon is good evil and let me know why if you think they're good let me know why if you think they're bad let me know why i would love to hear what you guys personally think on the subject but for me like i said i do think that they are evil and they are only helping to benefit them I don't know but guys like I said let me know down below what you guys think and I will be responding to as many of you guys as I can and I will talk to you all later.